Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you're here today because I have an announcement for you. Now in a previous video you saw me talking about my plans for the year and that I really didn't have any huge plans for a race on the horizon or at least anytime soon. I have signed up for a 5k that's going to happen in March but no big challenges that I was really looking forward to until now. See for a while actually since about the middle of last year I kind of got it in my head that maybe if I was training for a marathon that I could push myself just a little bit further to do a 50K. I looked around at some of the 50Ks that are here in the state. We do have quite a few trail races around because Arkansas does have a lot of trails and I kind of settled on one but just could not force myself to pull the trigger and actually register for the race. Well. All that has changed. I have actually registered for a 50K and that is going to be my next big challenge. That's going to be the Washita Trail 50 and that's going to be happening on April 9th. The Washita Trail 50 was put together by a group of ultra runners who wanted to kind of showcase this part of the Washita Trail, which in itself is about 200 miles long. But they found a 50 mile portion that they wanted to put together an event on and so they did. There is a 50 mile option and a 50k option and obviously I am doing the 50k option. Most of the elevation is going to happen around mile five ish where you climb Pinnacle Mountain and then back down again and then the rest of the trail goes alongside Lake Maumelle then comes back and instead of going back up Pinnacle Mountain again goes around it back to the starting point. This is an officially sanctioned race and looking at all the statistics from the past few years it looks like between 89 to 91 percent of participants do in fact cross the finish line. I've done a lot of research on the terrain around the area. I've looked at videos that people have put up of different parts of the trail and I do feel like with a bit of training extra on my part that it is something that is within my grasp because I am currently still trained for a marathon. Now it's going to just be adding on to it. But I'm not going to be going this on my own. I have enlisted the help of the coaches over at vert.run. Thanks to the recommendation of Ultra Trail Steven, I'm gonna have a link to his channel up here and down below so that you can check out his channel for yourself. But he has talked several times about vert.run and how helpful they have been in helping helping him train for 100 mile races and so on. And I took a look at the program and did decide to go ahead and enlist the help of the coaches there. Since this is a paid training plan, I can't get super specific about all of the various aspects that I'm going to be doing and super specific about what I'm doing on a day by day basis, but I can just kind of give you a little bit of a glance here. Here is a average week of training for me here at the beginning of the program. It's a good mix of conditioning and easy running right now. There's going to be some back-to-back -back runs. There's going to be some hiking involved. And the intensity is obviously going to step up over the next few months. They've been very good about answering any questions that I have so far or addressing any concerns. They've taken a look at what I have put out on Strava. And so they kind of get an idea of my paces, my times, what I'm capable of at this point in the program. And so they've been really good about structuring a very good introductory 50K program that works for me. Also, because I am using the paid portion of the program, I do have the opportunity to move different workouts around in order to help fit any hiccups that may come up in my schedule. I'm not gonna lie, tackling a 50K really is kind of scary to me. And I, I'm wondering maybe what I've gotten myself into because, you know, there's still a big difference between 26.2 miles and 31 plus miles. However, I am in a good position right now as far as my training goes. I feel like I do have adequate time to prepare for this and I mean, why not? I feel like this may be a perfect introductory race into ultra running for me, and I have wanted an excuse to spend more time out on the trails. Obviously, on some of my hikes, I am going to be going out to Pinnacle Mountain and practice climbing the mountain in my own time, just so I kind of know what I'm up against once race day comes. I also have to kind of take another look at how I'm going to be fueling runs using actual real food as opposed to gels, chews, and things like that, because uh, I think that the whole fueling and nutrition game is going to be a little bit different than I'm used to. Overall, it's a challenge. I am scared of it, but it's something that kind of excites me because it's something just a little bit different. And so I pass the question off to you. If you have any experience in doing 50Ks or in doing any ultra running, what do I need to know right off the bat? What do I need to expect? What do you think I need 
to kind of concentrate on as far as my uh, training and my running is going to go? Why don't you let me know down in the comments below? Also, if you wanna make sure that you are staying tuned to all of my training adventures and my updates on training for the 50K, make sure that you have hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss anything that's going to be coming out. You can also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for being here. I can't wait to keep you updated on how things are going. I'll see you guys next time. Happy running.